your hand and your scapula are linked. So here's a way you can remember all of the bony landmarks of your scapula just by looking at your hand. Now the beauty of this is that when you go into your exam day, you're going to have your hand available to you even though you can't see your scapula because you're looking down at the exam paper. But you're going to have your hand available to you. So it works like this. Essentially you're going to take your hand and out in front of you, uh, what I have here on that drawing, you're literally going to put your thumb vertical so that your hands go out to the side and your thumb is vertical. And this creates like a Nike tick shape across your fingers, which is across here. So you get this Nike kind of tick between your thumb and index finger. That's going to give us our angle of our scapula. So from there, you're just going to literally draw a nice triangle up through in that gap. Imagine that if you're not drawing it, but imagine it physically with me now. And then from here, you've got these different borders to these triangles. So that's the first thing to recognize is there's borders. Now, to remember which is which, the lateral border, lateral, is the one closest to your little finger. So the lateral border is the one that is closest to your little finger. Fantastic. And then the one at the top here is called your superior border, which makes sense because superior, think on top of or the best of, it's superior to it. So it's on the very top of the scapula. And then the one down here is classed as the medial border. Now that medial border, a way of remembering that is it's closest to the middle line of the body where you're sitting. Some people know that that medial is then therefore closest to the thumb in that situation, but L is closest to the lat is lateral, which is close to the little finger. That's a nice way of remembering those. So when you're in that situation, that's how you know the border edges of all of your scapula. Now there's a couple more in particular points that we need to know. One in particular is this angle here. We need to know what this angle is called and we're going to call it the inferior angle. Now the reason why that's called inferior angle is if you think that you've got superior up here then it's this lowest point, this lowest angle just in between your thumb and your index finger you get this inferior angle. Now this inferior angle basically means it's the lowest corner, the point in which that you've got this attachment point for some of the muscles. So what you really need to know when it comes to exam day is that you've got these specific borders, lateral is the one closest to your little finger, medial is the one that is closest to the middle line of the body, imagine that this is my spine down here, then it's closest to the middle line of my body. And then the superior is the one on top. It's the best. It's the biggest. It's along the top, so the highest. And then inferior, inferior angle is this angle right here in the middle between our index finger and our thumb. That's the inferior angle opposite to superior. So that's how you can remember it. What I'd like you to do is to physically do this with me though. Don't just watch. And I want you to put your hand out now in the same way that I have on this image. You're literally going to take your hand out in front and then from there imagine your medial, your lateral and your superior border as well as that inferior angle that happens in the angle in between your thumb and your forefinger. And I just want you to go through that several times so you have it drilled into your brain. Now that brings us to the end of today's video. So I want you to go through and practice this, but I also want you to share this with at least one other person on your course so that you can help them pass first time as well. So remember, you're not paying me to do these lovely videos for you and I've taken time out to give you awesome little tips to help remember and what I'd love you to do in return is to now share this with any of your classmates so they can benefit as well. I wish you all the best for your exam. Let me know how you get on and also pop a comment below to let me know that this was useful. Have a great day ahead. Take care.